Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Jeremy AKU Zarudrombe back again with another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. On the global side, we have the new Overflowing Power Super Dokkan campaign that just went live, and in this video, we'll be talking about the new units, events, and other details for this campaign that we can expect over the next few weeks. We'll get to all that information here in a minute, but first, make sure you check out that link in the description below to join the awesome Discord community. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can stay up to date on future content like this. Drop a like on the video today if you find any useful information, and comment down below if you have any questions or comments. So let's go ahead and hop over to the Dokkan Info website here, where they've got all this stuff updated really nice and quickly. It is, of course, starting on the 28th, and it looks like it's going to be going through the 17th of March. So we've, of course, got some missions that we'll be able to expect some dragon stones and other uh, rewards from but one thing i will say is the ginyu force and team bardock hidden potential activation campaign is actually pretty cool because a lot of people already have this done but this is 33 free dragon stones right here while also maxing out some free to play units so definitely get that done we've got the new dokkan festival exclusive tech bardock and then we have the int torah that will be coming out later tonight We've got some uh, ticket packs for that. Also some burst mode uh, summons. We've got some Dragonstone sales, the new Dokkan event for the Bardock, new missions for the Fighting Legend Goku and Vegeta events. You've got uh, the limited event renewal for basically the skill orbs for the Ginyu Force and Bardock team uh, units. And then we've got uh, some other things. We've got burst modes going to be coming here later tonight as well. A new virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash. And, uh, you know, kind of going through most of this is just returning events. But uh, another big thing for this is going to be the Extreme Z Awakening for the Int Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. Fairly old unit, finally getting his Extreme Z Awakening on the global side. Definitely a, a, a good Extreme Z Awakening, so definitely something to look forward to. That'll be here within the next week. So, really exciting stuff there. Uh, pretty, It's a small campaign for sure, but it is something to keep us busy on the global side. For the next little while so here's what the banner was on the jp side and it's likely going to remain fairly similar thanks to the dokkan wiki website for putting all this information up but we've got the new tech bardock and int torah and then if you're missing any of these guys they are featured as well so we've got the bardock here we're not going to go over all of his uh, uh stats excuse me but leader skill goku's family or storied figures category and he also gives 30 percent to those units that are in pure sands as well and then we've got the Torah, which is a storied figures category lead of 130%. So storied figures coming to the global side now. We have some official leads and things like that. But again, we do have the Extreme Z battle and Extreme Z awakening for the Int Super Saiyan 3 Bardock coming here very soon. And the storied figures category will be the weakness. I will be putting out another video talking more about this Extreme Z battle and Extreme Z awakening here soon. But... As of right now, just some quick information to go over. Like I said, not a, an extreme amount of content in this uh, campaign, but we do have an explosive chain battle, new stages of collection of epic battles. I mean, it's enough to keep us busy. You got some new, new missions, new challenge events, and plenty of dragon stones. As the eighth anniversary is going to be here before you know it, in the next few months on the global side, you want to make sure you get in and get all these things done to get all of those dragon stones. And then let me know down in the comments section below. I'll, I'll likely be putting out a summon or save video for this banner. But let me know if you guys are going to be going in and summoning for the Bardock or the Torah, Or if you're missing any of the other units on the banner. And let me know what you think about these two units. Are you gonna? Are they worth summoning for? Or do you think we should save our stones? Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. And stay tuned for more videos on this campaign on my YouTube channel here soon. That's everything I've got for the video today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. A quick and easy one, just going over some news today. But if you did enjoy the video, go ahead and drop a like. And again, comment down below and let me know what you think about this campaign and these new units. And make sure you check out that link in the description below to join the awesome Discord community. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can stay up to date on future content like this. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys coming by and checking out the video today. We'll catch you on the next one. Signing out.